皆さんおはようございます。私だよ。皆さんのお兄さん、ジェスパスだよ。えっと、今日の、to、today's episode, today's episode is going to be grading the second half of the Kaishi Con Championship 2019 competition videos. If you haven't seen the videos, you're probably going to be having A wonderful time, a great time, pretty good time. Turn up the volume and let's get down to reacting to this year's Country Con Championship videos. And as per the previous video, I'll be grading the videos on their country skills, their sick moves, and their videography, totaling up the scores and then keying it into a document to grade the videos. First up, we have a video by Magic Mika. Let's check it out. Wow, that's a big display. I'm not sure if having such a big display is usually a good. Ooh, it's uncut. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uncut, I appreciate the effort. I'm gonna give you a score of、uh, cardistry skills. Pretty good. Moves, any sick moves? There were some big moves, but were there sick moves?、Mm. Pretty good. And then videography. I appreciate the effort that went into making the filter of the video. Pretty good. Kata's Locus. Whoa! Ooh, that's some sticky finger stuff. Oh, look, it's that staircase thing again. What? I'm not sure. These moves are conceptually very simple. These moves are quite sick. Especially this, like, how does this make sense? What? Pretty good. Time on. Let's go. In interesting expansion. Oh, wow. He Time on seems really good at expanding four packets at the same time. That's a nice catch. Mmm, high risk moves. Pretty good. I like the selection of moves, I like the variety of moves. I just wish you pushed a little harder. Show me something that I've never seen before, other than a packet of cards flying around. Emma Calvo. Nice. Ooh, that's an interesting movement. Yep, stack them. Oof, that was good. Interesting card twirls. Oh, there's only two moves. Hmm. One really long one handed cut followed by a two handed cut twirl looking thing. Pretty cool. Pretty good. Lunzi. Oh my gosh, Lunzi is back. <sighs> Are you ready? Are you ready, world? Let's go, Lunzi. Oh wow, this VHS looking. Oh my gosh, that move. I wish that hand wasn't. What? Holy crap, do you see that last move? Ooh! Videography, pretty good. Let's go, Felix. Very strong, intense video. Packet's not very clean. Ooh, that was really nice. The symmetry in that two handed cut. An easy way to get into an 8 packet card.、Hmm. Pretty good. Engine Nelav. Let's go. Okay, nice one card tools. As in, a card plus a one. Ooh, that's interesting. Oh my gosh, that was. That's interesting. That two handed cut at the end was so interesting to watch. I don't know how I explain it, but the feeling of boop, 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 boop was strong. I'm gonna give you a score of pretty good AK2 cards. Let's go.
Okay, very simple, clean execution of moves. Okay, okay. Some interesting spins on existing moves uh, performed by AK2 cards. Pretty good. Disarranger. That's a nice spring. For Queen production. Okay, some smooth moves. Okay, and a simple ending with a hand towards the camera closer. Pretty good. Next up, Kirk's Dist. Dun 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 dun. What is this? Undertales? Okay. Interesting body move. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, okay. Um, interesting variety of moves. I like that he didn't use just one genre of moves. Pretty good. Next, Banger Bing. That digital zoom was a bit weird. Ooh, that was nice. Ooh, wow, what a closer. Okay, Banger Bing. Okay, I see you. I like that. I also like that the effort, there was extra effort going into the filming of the video. Some camera movement that accompanies the movements of the cards. Pretty good. Also, although it's an indoor video, it's at least shot nicely against a, you know, a, a shelf with a lot of books. Makes the video look well produced. Next up, Trebla X. Okay. Gotta get that. That looked interesting. Oof, oof, oof. Very weird spot to end the video on. It almost feels like it was like just black, the cuts on the thing. But in terms of production with a light beside him, in terms of the moves, pretty good. Next up, we have a video by Del Piero. Very tight two-handed cut. I like the extra flair of the, the fingers and the movement of the hands. It makes it look very interesting. But it's not very good for cardistry competitions. Pretty good video though. Next, we have a video by Skuka Markafob. Okay. Haven't seen the DI cards in a while. Ooh, that's an interesting interaction. That's a weird place to end the video. It was like, here, check this out. Check this cool position that I got into out. Which, to be fair, was cool. But it needed to go somewhere, just getting into the position and not doing anything with it. It's kind of anticlimactic. Next up, we have TMY MKW. Let's go. I can't believe he made that move look smooth. Oh my gosh. This move, this move, there's no reason it should look smooth, but it looks smooth. That packet distribution was very interesting as well. That's cool. Okay, DMY MKW. Pretty good. Peter, let's check it out. The way he edited the video to the music. Oh, that was nice. That was a nice place to end the video. I like how Peter has chosen to perform his moves to the music. That makes it ultra, ultra impactful. Good job, Peter. I enjoyed that. Next up, Jetra. So many plays on me. Palisade views 
the camera is almost a little bit too close to the action. Ooh, the way that packet closed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It makes me want to go like pretty good, brother. Pablo Shizup Shup. Okay, interesting. The cut going this way, then this way. Oh my gosh. The way that pa cut, that cut in the last one-handed cut slid into the middle. Oh my gosh. That was nice. Also, good effort on getting out of the house to filming outdoors. Pretty good. Coax. Oof. Okay. Wow, very distinct personal style. A very distinct personal style. Um, very interesting use of momentum to go like suck, suck, suck. Pretty good. Kobe Bakold. Oh wow, that slow slide back was interesting. Nice! The way that move interacted with the music was really nice. Uh, Kobe Bucker also has a very specific, distinctive style. I really enjoyed that video. Very interesting one cut sliding backwards because of momentum moves within the capacity of like a bigger move. Next up, Perf. Ah, it's a 3D box thing again. That was ultra smooth though, the way he did a 3D box. Ending on a big display, the 6 packet cut may be a good idea. But within the context of a competition, the 6 packet move doesn't look specifically very difficult. So, may lose some of the impact that you wish it had. All in all, pretty good. Dreamer H01. Ooh. Ooh. Um, and, um, most of the two ended cards were pretty smooth, pretty pleasing to the eye. That last one card toss though. It's a little bit awkward. It feels almost as if the thought process was, what can I do with this one card being tossed? Ah, I know. I'll hit it back. Which is not quite enough. It needs to be hit back in a very pleasing way. Next up, we have JD19024. Let's go. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. Ah, it was another 3D box, but just for a moment. The second last two-handed cut where everything was like, sort of, doing weird things together. I found it really interesting. Good job, JD19024. Good stuff. Samagus. Very contained movement in a very small frame. A very tight frame. Oh my gosh, that was super cool. Okay, okay. Some very interesting moves, but it almost feels like the camera is too close to the action. It makes it sort of hard to appreciate the cardistry being done. Next up, Chi Wei. Is, are these unofficial dots? Oh, I don't know where to look right now. Some interesting stuff going on in the, the right hand side frame. I'm gonna watch one more time. A lot of very tight, small space to end the cuts. Very specific in style, going for a very particular audience. 
pretty good. Next up is Kepapa. Okay, okay. Interlock moves, simple interlock moves. Okay, a simple five faces variation, very interesting. All in all, the execution of the video is pretty standard affair, but done nicely. However, the difficulty of the moves or the, the, the weirdness of the moves or the freshness of the moves, it feels like the moves could have been pushed even further. Pretty good. Next up, LG moves. Quickly getting into a square. Very interesting twirl in that thing. Okay, that last one-handed cut was pretty cool. Next up, Rostislav Korst. Oh, the... Wow, the tempo of that move was so weird. Also going into... Judo... Cut. From a two-handed cut was quite interesting. That pirouette to half a turn, also pretty interesting. Next up is a video from Paul Robaya. Very nice. Welcome, Paul. Let's see what you got. Ooh. That's so interesting. Okay. Alright, interesting isolations, very distinct style, pretty good. Paul also used the, the, the vertical 4x3 which increases his screen estate. Good choice, good choice Paul. Next up is a video by Ocel. Location shots, oh my god. That two packets together, ferrule together, curly cue is very weird because the original curly cue already covers that big of a size. So having the two packets together and doing it, that and not having and not having that double curly cue increase the size of the curly cue makes it kind of weird and and slightly pointless. Roman magician. Oh my gosh, this frame in a frame makes the, the video so small. Oh wow, that accuracy was sick. Mm. Oh wow. While the video wasn't ex executed very well because, you know, the picture is really really small on your screen, there were a lot of really nice moments in this video. Next up, Sawyer TNE. Okay, that was interesting to watch. That interaction between the backs and faces. Oh, that, that, that fan at the end. The fan at the end. Pretty good. Next up, Faisal. Okay. Reverse Angel, haven't seen that in a while. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, that was a really smooth way of getting into that into that typical, you know, lengthwise square. I really enjoyed that. Pretty good. OG Aiden, let's check it out. Man, Aiden has, has some real sticky hands, man. Um, the editing was a little bit distracting. It's almost as if I want to look at the middle of the frame because, you know, that's the biggest one. But I can't because it's at the back of the front frame. And the one at the front frame was small at first, like this. And then it gets even smaller. Ugh, that makes it really difficult to watch what is happening. Next up, we have a video by Luis Pablo. Let's go. Oh, 
Okay, that was cool. Alright, alright. Feels like it needs a bit of rise in the video, but other than that, pretty good. Simo A5. That's nice. That is nice too. Oh my gosh. Not overly complex. Just the right amount of like stepping out of normal boundaries. I like this moment a lot. It goes here and it comes out this way. In real life, the movement doesn't look quite as flat as that. But because this is a video, and they cheated the angle upwards a little bit. It almost looks like the cut packet just went woo like that. Pretty cool. Rule the Rawu. Very simple music. Very simple car tree, executed very cleanly. Ooh, that's nice. I, I have to say that was nice. But I'm also getting a little bit sick of seeing people toss one card and then balance it on one finger. At this point, it almost feels like it's not very rare to find someone able to do that anymore. Which is saying a lot about the levels in which cardistry is improving. The fact that one card tosses, being shot, and then balanced on an individual finger, being not rare, not hard to find. That's insane. What, ex what an exciting time we are living in. Next up. Busong na. Come on Busong na, show me that sick shit. Okay. No, oh, nice sliding out. Is that wait, is that is this footage from an old video? I feel like I've almost seen this exact video. That's so cool though. I have this serious sense of deja vu right now. I almost feel like I've seen this exact video before. Cami 3001. A very very tight gripping Cami. Try try to work on loosening up the grips a bit. But good job, man. Pretty good. Next up is a YouTube video by Los Carlos. Okay, that was interesting. Sliding back and forth between two different hands. Oh, into a triangle. Very nice. Timing with the beat. Oh, that is super cool. Pretty good. Ooh, a return challenger, Salvatore Dodo. You gotta show us some real shit, man. Let's go, man. Let's go, Salvador. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Do you see that first? That first fan cut thing, the way it sort of fanned and then broke into four packets and then squared up as four different packets and then went into a cut. Holy crap! That's nasty. That's nasty, Salvatore. That's nasty. Next up is a video by LJJ. Some interesting card specific synergies. <laughs> Very passionate performance. Good job, man. Oh man, my noodles is all cold now. Next up, a video by 2EJRL. Let's go. Okay, interesting fan. Okay. Ooh, nice edit. Nice edit, sir. And that's an interesting cut toss. Normally, cut tosses are usually this way or this way, right? 
that went sort of like eh. pretty interesting though the way the edit fits the music also pretty good i enjoyed that amit singh let's go Okay, some pretty simple moves, but the colors of the video look so good. You can see the difference immediately between the colors of just watching a video on YouTube versus watching a video on Instagram. It's so completely different. I wish more people chose to upload their videos to YouTube instead of Instagram. Just my thought. Next up, Abarinartium. Let's go Abarinartium. Whoa, those cuts look interesting. Oh no, what's this? Is this another joke video? <sighs> I, uh, let's just finish it. Next up, Industry 1. That looked nice. The video editing, the music, and the moves, and the camera work all working together. Very nice, very fun to watch. I'm gonna re watch it without talking this time. They are so interesting, but not very technical. How do I grade this video? Technique wise, it wasn't the most difficult video, it wasn't the highest difficulty video, but I'm not usually worried about the technical handling of the cards. But in this case, it almost feels like the moves were too easy. Hmm, pretty good. Next up is a video by Jenko Magic. Let's check this out. Okay. Oh my god, this song sounds like something from 1999. Okay, alright, alright. Some very interesting concepts. That spread though, that spread was super cool. But something about the ending is so weird. Also the white balance in the, of the video is crazy off right now. It's it's almost difficult to watch because of the white balance, but all in all, pretty good. X deck. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh, this is cool. Ah, it's the steps again. It's the steps again. Make the steps stop, they are gonna haunt my nightmares. That oh I'll, I'll see that again. That's cool. Alright. Oh man, that's so cool. That's so cool, that's so cool. I'm gonna give extra points just for that move. Oh man. Oh jeez. Oh, that was pretty cool. Richard Karna. Yeah, yeah, I can dig it, yeah. Okay. Ooh! That was nice. Yeah, yeah, Alright. Yeah. A little bit light on the on the moves. But nice moments. Pretty good. Next up, VZ Kardashri. Whoa, the, the, the negative effect is a bit tough on the eyes. Oh, there's some fast ATMs. Okay, okay. Crazy fast way of getting into a worm. Okay, I see you. Pretty good. Next up, Kevin's cards. Let's go, Kevin. That was nice. Oh, that wasn't a voice production. Okay.
Okay. You know what this reminds me of? You have no idea. This reminds me of the perching concept by the XCM community from like 15 years ago. This video feels like that and I don't mean anything bad by it. It's just nice to see that that idea has came around and it's it's back right now. Pretty good, pretty good. Next up we have a video by Aslan Valentine. Oh my gosh! Yo, Aslan, holy shit. Man, that move is so sick. That move is so smart. It's so well designed. And it looks so good. That one cut shot at the end also. That was cool. Pretty damn good. Also, is that... Ah, uh, it's just 2019 and the CCC was added in post. I see. It's not that Aslan went and, and tagged that, that wall himself. Alright. Cardistry Planet. Let's go. All right. This is 100% XCM video. The epic music in the background. Uh, maybe not this specific move, but this is very XCM. This is very XCM. This is ultra XCM. Cardistry Planet. How long have you been doing Cardistry? Are you from the XCM days? I enjoyed that video. Pretty good. Next up, Ben Cheryl. Okay. Very simple, efficient move. Okay. Close that up, close that up. Real nice. And then a cut shot, a, a packet toss to land with the end of the sounder. Dong, dong. Okay, pretty good. I enjoyed that. Shout out to Ben Cheryl. Nice. Next up, CM Mayonnaise. Okay. Oof. Oh, that's nice. The way the that packet and this packet synergize was nice. Oh. Let's see that one more time. Wow, that synergy is nice. That's pretty. Oh, that's so good. That that two packet toss plus put two packet deck flip. Oh, that was nice. All right, CM mayonnaise. I see you. I like that. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. Next up, Andrew Beard. I knew a boy who could outline a shape in a second since display was eclectic in a way that was second to none. He had a hand that swam like fish in okay. the and a pin stroke could ring and he That cut shot from the bottom of the deck was pretty. And that backward staircase thing, pretty cool. I enjoyed that video. Shouts to Andrew Beard. I wonder if he has a cool beard. Hmm. Next up, Johnny V Magic. Camera's a bit too far from the action right now. Some simple two handed cuts. Alright. And then a cut vanish to end the video. Alright, alright. Uh, I can see the Johnny V's magic. Johnny V Magic's uh, background in magic showing here. Uh, this camera angle is much more suitable for magic than your usual cardistry angles. Pretty good though. Pretty good. 1FC3. Let's go 1. Okay. Okay. See, that, that grip seemed a bit difficult for you 1. That was interesting. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good 1. I enjoyed that video. It's nice to see new people step out of their comfort zones to, to send in videos for the Kaishikon Championship. Gotta get that 
that one packet thing a little bit more smooth um, this specific packet right here gotta get it a little bit more smooth though good job anyway next up we have 52 squared let's go Ooh, setting the tone of the video Oof, that was nice. Oh my. That was cool. Oh, that's cool as well. Oh my gosh. Let, let me see that one more time. Oh, that slide was nice. Oof, that was nice. That was so nice. The way it goes boom, right across. Oof. Feels good, man. Pretty good. Next up, we have Lars Mayrand. Okay, setting the tone of the video. Ooh. Oh, that was so cool. Uh, this, this whole video is just oozing style and personality. Oh my gosh. That last cut, he started with a long display, put, cl started closing everything into a small display, and then as he let go of the cuts, it slides down to the front, a long display again. Oh wow, pretty good. Next up is Shivraj. I wanna see what you got, Shivraj. I wanna see some new stuff. Let's go, Shivraj. Cool. That thing is so cute! The little bit of sounds it makes. Way too cute. What does Shivraj say at the side? Meet my pet Cosmo. He's trying to fetch his dreams and has worked really hard, literally. Swipe for the behind the scenes. Oh, okay, okay. Shouts to Cosmo and Shivraj, of course. Oh, there's a sick thumbnail if I've seen one. Split lighting, warm colors on the left, cool colors on the right. Bear Kardashri has definitely put in effort into making this video. Let's go with Bear Kardashri. Starting off a clean packet. Oh, that was nice. Oh. May not be the most technically impressive video, but god damn, this whole video was beautiful. It's just a visual delight. Shout out to you, Bear Kardashri. Very nice. Will Far. Okay. Yeah, pastel cards look good. Okay. Well, okay. A lot of very tight two-handed cards. Wish the camera went a little bit closer, but execution-wise, pretty smooth, pretty comfortable to watch, enjoyable, pretty good. Next up is Gowlock. Welcome back, Gowlock. Welcome back to this year's CCC. Let's see what you got. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh. How can can we see that again? Oh my gosh, I love that so much. Oh, that looks so good. That looks so good too. Oh. Oh, come up for the next round. Please step outside of the house to film. Please. Please. Pretty good. Trip 14. Let's go, Trip 14. Okay, very smooth cut. The color of the cut makes this video look so interesting. Okay. Very well executed. Simple moves. Good job, Trip 14. That was fun. That was nice to watch. Pretty good. Next up, Gora M. This is so well shot. 
Very tight, smooth movements. It's a weird display. Oh, there you go. That makes more sense. The framing of that last move though was a little bit high. It's a bit awkward. Cash up. Mongia. Let's go. Oh my god, it's vlog music. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Nice explosion at the end. Pretty good. Also, if you look in the comment section, Young the Bunny has commented, What's the music, man? Yes, it's Jo Kim Karut. Jo Kim Karut, the king of all royalty free music. Next up is Ghost Cuts uh, Entry. Oh, nice way of getting into a cut toss. The frame rate is so uncomfortable to watch though. Ooh. Alright, pretty good. This last bit looks like Spin God, but it looks just slightly off, slightly different from it. Huh. Interesting. Next up, Sebastian GGD. Let's go, Sebastian. Show me something sick. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna see that last two ender cut one more time. Oh, this is so cool. This is so interesting as well. Oh man. I wish I could see more of that two ender cut. That two ender cut was really cool. Technical skills wise, this video was awesome. But personality wise, it feels like it needed to shine just a little bit. Also, that Burberry bedsheet look. Pretty good. Crescent Light. Let's go, Crescent Light. Okay. Interesting move. Oh, that went almost completely out of frame until the last moment. What a waste, that move looked interesting. Alright guys, so this is the last video in all 170-ish entries. I hope this is a super duper good one. Look at the comment section, there's a lot of fire. I hope it sets me on fire. Moves me to my soul. Let's go, Mathis Cardis. Nice. I like flat cut tosses, deck tosses. Lots of cut shots. Hey, editing to the music, very nice. Oh wow! Do you see that cut shot off the back of his hand and onto I think his index finger or his middle finger? Man, that was cool. Alright, pretty good. Pretty good and pretty good. And that's it, and that's all. We're done with all 170-ish competitors. Shoutouts to the competitors, it takes a lot of guts and balls and bravery to put yourself out on the internet for someone else to judge. I applaud you for that. Good job man, good job. You did it. And to the ladies of course that joined, I think I counted 3 or 4 of them. Super shouts to you girls as well. That's all for Country Con Championship 2019 audition videos. Who were your top 5 picks to be? entering into the next round let me know in the comment section below until next time guys i'm jaspers your online brother and i'll talk to you tomorrow bye bye